YouTube stream. On that. Are they gonna be bring back the old archive events? I don't know. I, I, I don't even think they brought them back last year, right? If I'm correct. Uh, Heretic uh, Geek, thank you for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate. It. Thank you. I don't think they did. And then TikTok now. TikTok. I'm not even queuing. I know. At the beginning of the stream, I usually talk to chat for a second. You didn't notice my new profile picture on here? I've had that for like, I want to say over a year now. Right? About a year. Yeah. They did a really good job with it. Mm -hmm. That's basically Sully as like a battle mage. So. Um, also, I mean, Arnie kind of. Ar 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 Arnie's an orange kitty too, so. Um, where's TikTok? Live from. There we go. Go live gaming. Overwatch 2. Save and go live. Got it. Copy. All right, chat. I just did the process. Got it. Start. Here we go. Good. At that. Should be good. We good? We're good. Okay, perfect. All right, let me, uh, where am I at here? Morning, going, everybody. Good here. Good here. Uh, we'll just Q tank. I mean, have some fun. This Amalga. I mean, I, I'm sure they're looking for improvements going into the next year, Fox, for sure. Hey, everybody. go to the practice range for the with the Q timer and just record a podcast for three hours. I could. I could. For the five minute queue, I mean it's new tank. Yeah, chill. I think to what tomorrow's the last full day of the supporter streamer stuff too, right? For the Echo skin. I think it's tomorrow, like all the way through tomorrow and then into like midnight. And why have I stopped doing comp? I literally just played rank yesterday. I had a good day of games yesterday, too. The fellow left-handed gamer. Keep in mind, the mouse is in my right hand. Do play a lot of rank, but right now it's like just to give you an idea, you can't with Malga, you can't play Malga in ranked right now. So, like, right now for me, um, this is how the only way I get to play Malga or like try Malga is through quick play. So, some days we just start off playing a little bit of quick play, having some fun. You know, it's it's like I said, you don't one thing is for sure, there won't be a lack of ranked on this stream because I don't know how much ranked we play a season so. Play hey, Lucio? Okay, I'll try to. Yep. You really? Maybe. Do I think releasing overly tuned heroes is bad or good for the game? I mean... Are you asking, like... Is it better? Okay, so if, if your question is, do I prefer the the release like Life Weaver was, or do I prefer the the the, re, the release like Malga? I I would prefer the one like Malga, hundred percent. Like Life Weaver was literally like unplayable to an extent. Like not unplayable, but was not good. 
I, th I think that like safe side of strong style and then like being able to then shift that later on is going to be a little bit better than um, like having the hero just release and not be good at all. Happy weekend. Who is your current? Nope. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think apparently when I switched scenes for a second, it just completely cut that off. I think yes, is my current tank like. I don't know. I like playing a lot of different stuff. I like playing a lot of different stuff. Uh, but Bay Hydration, thanks for the nine months to two, and they appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for nine months. How bad was Life Weaver on release? Okay. Literally unplayable. Like to the point where like you'd play Life Weaver and like you just could you just do nothing. You just be like, yep. Oh yeah, Life Weaver changed a ton. And, and you know what? Don't get me wrong, Life Weaver is really fun now. I, I think Life Weaver's in a pretty good spot and a fun hero. I have no idea. Um, I'm on that one. So, I'm okay with the safe side of strong stuff because, like, even in that interview we had with Alec, Alec was like, "Yeah, like, no, we're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna really pay attention quickly and try to balance the hero well before, like, even before, even before rank starts with Bob. Like, this, this hero is gonna be nerfed or buffed based off of what they see, right? So, yeah. I think at the, at the beginning of the season, it's being able to kind of have the hero be a little bit more of that safe side of strong is fine, especially because like it's getting back to quick play and isn't in ranked yet, and they're gonna find ways to make the hero better to play against or feel better to play against rather than, you know, the first few days of the hero. So. Are you talking about the frame rate issue on console? They fixed that. If you're, if you're on PS5, they fixed that uh, not yesterday. Well, kind of like yesterday in the, at the, in the early morning. So. Are you talking about Apex when they... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, Seer is... I imagine Seer is probably still okay, though, right? Because Seer has such a good... Uh, that, that, that ability to see through walls there. They slap me, I'm upset. What am I gonna do? Okay, we're good. College graduation? Heck yeah, congratulations. It's awesome. It's blocked the hook? Well, when you charge in, it blocks the hook. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! How dare they hook me when I'm going to eliminate their whole team with my ultimate? Are you kidding me right now? Just let me just absolutely dominate that. Oh, now I'm fuming.
It's okay. Yeah, I posted a TikTok in a short about like how the left click and the right click work. Um, which was actually people end up seeming to like because it actually, it's just like a, it's a very basic tip for Malga, but I feel like people are still trying to figure out how the heck that works. So I just made one like here, is what you do. Just to remind people. I'm Ilk Man, thanks for the 10 months of the Preacher's Prime stuff. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you 10 months. Stop them now. You going almost here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh! Does the supporter streamer end today or tomorrow? Uh, I think, like, tomorrow, but like, not early tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be like 3 a.m. Eastern on like Monday. So, like, technically, like 11.59 tomorrow PST. Nemo Lee, thanks for the two gifts. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. We're fine. Yeah, we're chilling. I mean, that's fine. They use that ultimate. That's huge for us. Let's go. Let's go. Reason why I run there is because it gives me 50% damage reduction, right? It gives me 50% damage reduction, so. Uh, you can give two subs that, or you can sub to uh, uh, two shooters, other workers yeah. that are on part of the program. Akinu, thank you for the two gifted thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. Not getting calm, not till two weeks from now. Well, a little bit less than now, but yeah. You hook your ult? Yes, you can stop the ultimate like that. Ana can sleep me out of ult too, yeah, so. That's why my ult didn't work, because the hawk hooked me out of it. All right. Gonna be a reaper on point, try to force out fade.
They got me? No! You know, listen, we had a close quick play game to start, okay? Almost made it work. The Mauga gameplay. That I'm talking about, you know? No, this isn't comp. This is quick play. Mauga is only playable in quick play. Is Winston even viable these days? I, you know, not, uh, I'm just going to say yesterday I won a game of quick play as Winston. That's all I'm saying. I won a game of quick play yesterday as Winston. So, it really was no big deal. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yeah. It really wasn't a big deal. Being able to just win a game as Winston. You know? Yep. What, what would I like for Sigma? If, I mean, I don't really think they're going to even... I, I, I don't know what abilities that I want with Sigma if they reworked him. That I'm, they're not going to rework him? And I don't know. I, I kind of don't mind just Sigma how Sigma's abilities are now. Well, this is my opinion. Let's do it. What Malga level am I? Uh, like level 20 or something like that? I mean, 21. Like, it says right there. Level 21. Can you play Winston? Because you can play Winston better than Debrick? I mean, yeah. I mean, Winston's probably, like, okay now against certain comms. I still think, like, if you're trying to play Winston against Malga right now, you're going to struggle. But, like, that's only in quick play currently. So, yeah, that's only in quick play currently, so I don't know how that will be overall. To be honest with you, so we'll have to see. Do I think the new DPS venture will be in a game for a day like Malga was? Um, I know the hero will be in the game like Malga was at some point. Because when we did the interview with the devs the other day, we asked that question, and they said, yeah, oh, well, we didn't even have to ask that question. That was on a list of questions I wanted to ask. And... Um, they just kind of, like, right away, they were like, yeah, we love the idea of being able to test the hero, and we want to do that for every new hero. But yes, that, the, what they did with Malga seems to be their plans in the future for every new hero, is to test them out just a little bit early to give people time to try out the hero and give them also the ability to check out the balance of the game and see if it's, you know, if they're happy with the balance and all that, so. Would I say the Season 8 dive comp is Winston Tracer, Sombra, Brig, Ana? I mean, that does sound like a good comp. Um, rank dependent, though. And the only reason why I go with rank dependent on that side of things is because... I have to sneeze in a second. One second. Um, is because, like, to play Sombra, Tracer, Winston, Ana, Brig, Dive, you need to... Oh! Okay, there you go. Oh, man. The workout, even trying to, like, go into that. Um, thank you, chat. Hi, Master GM? Or, yeah, then you'll, that, that comp can work there. It's like, if you're, like, in silver, I just don't... The Winston, Anna, Brig, like, somber Tracer comp, like, the, the coordination you need with that comp is... Is, like, you get on the same target, you follow up, like, you're already diving in when the EMP's about to happen, um, etc., so... Yeah. Oh, wait, that's definitely a good comp. It just, it's, it's, it just depends. So, 
Uh, that's, that's what I'm, I'm getting at with that one, like with the... Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, I'm just no, no play right now. Not today. We're still figuring everything out. Traveling to Nepal. All right. I'll go. When Naga drops the combo, what I think will be the counter pick for him? Ana. It's just Ana. You just go Ana and you just make the tank not have fun. I mean, it depends what, what nerfs they make too. A gun in each hand and a smile on my face. It also depends on the nurse that they make too, right? I wish violence never solved anything. It would make peace so much easier. Good leadership makes all the difference. All right, let's do this. Exciting times ahead. Everyone, I can thank you for sharing. Good luck to me. See, like in that situation, I can't even do anything because I got purple. I actually kind of like the Maga playstyle. It's pretty fun. It's just. Yep. His, his damage is underwhelming. He used to one shot and have an invincibility and TP. I mean, they could maybe look into that. Again, put a tree. Oh, good life weaver tree. Going this way to the point. Got slept. Got on a grenade. Feels good. Alright, there we go. Go team. I got blocked by the pedal. Uh, Krasina, thank you for the nine months of the Freedish Prize. I think you appreciate it. You um, will question mark, you will question mark, and will question mark. Hi, uh, FM Dumplings. Thanks for the six months that tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for six months, and I don't have six or seven months that tier one. What's his counter right now? Strip. Anna. Here we go. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Have fun. Oh, 
Oh, I'm slapped. Can I get purple? They missed. You're gonna get me? It's okay though. We go again. Let's do this. Whoop. Whoop. Cage breaking? Oh, you can do it all the time. Ready for some garbage. Oh, they cancel my ultimate? Perfect. Okay, that's kind of my bad. And Rev, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you, appreciate it. And uh, Krasina, thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate that. And Jack Rock, thanks for the hundred Thanks. It's okay. We're more of a next two map teams. I just got to make sure I don't get anti'd or randomly hacked by the Sombra or slept during all of that against their own Mago. And I should be good to go. It should be that easy. Stick with me and you'll climb straight to the top. Yeah, we should be good. Let's get these up, chat. You can do it. It's very possible. I'm dead there. Yep. Once I get purpled, I they just I fall behind and then that's that. Here now, we're good. I'm gonna get purpled or slept. Purpled again? That was my bad, I got purpled. Do I do I go up against Anna's? Yeah, oh yeah. Whenever I play quick play, people are with Anna, Anna with immediately. It's not already on Anna. Because like honestly, like to keep a Mago alive, you'd like going on is like play too. Purple me and then nano them. <laughs> Piece of my ult in there, right? Great. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me, I just got back so they can. Uh, 
Uh oh. You ready? Now, is that the correct play? No, but is it fun? Yep. Listen. Gotta have some fun. We go again. Defeat. We go again. Hmm. Right, let's check my phone for a second. Like a gentle rain. Doing our thing, Shant. Are we good? Do, 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 do. Am I liking Maga so far? I mean, Maga's fun. I, I definitely like Maga. For sure. <clears throat> so you don't like you said you, you said it's not. Um, you don't like that you're forced to go on a Kiriko against Malga. I mean, like I feel like that just ends up being what, whatever tank becomes meta, you just end up there ends up being like this support line that is just such a go-to comp against that comp because it's just so strong. Um, right, like tanks are a unique spot with that. Uh, have they fixed the PS5 issues? Yep. Yeah, if you're on PS5, you're good to go. What's my battle pass level? Like 40 something? Uh, Chad, we get to blame each other. FM Dumplings with the five gifted. Thank you, FM Dumplings. Appreciate it. Thank you. Blame each for everybody with all the gifted subs. Speaking of uh, animated emotes, Chad, apparently we got five more animated emote slots now, so I gotta figure that out. We have five more animated emote slots. So I gotta get some animated stuff done there. Be pretty sweet. Is your channel points? Say, listen, soon you'll be able to do the timeout one. It was great, you know? <clears throat> what levels can the heroes go to? Probably unlimited, is my guess. Um, Krasina, thanks for the uh, get the sub. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. the gifted sub. Mm -hmm. Arnie and Luna emotes? Maybe, yeah. I wonder if I can get like a couple animated versions of like, that, that could happen. There's definitely some more options for emotes in general that we can do. I'll probably have to kind of brainstorm some ideas and, and and come up with some some new emotes uh, to add because i think we have a couple slots anyway from when we like it hit um the mana all right what do we got what do we got was it world oh we should just have arnie and, and luna uh blanky's emotes just have three different versions of blanky's emotes oh there you go Yeah, definitely some things we can do, that's for sure. Enjoy your food. You got the demon on your side. Let's go get these dubs, champ. How often do I uh, clean my mouse pad? Um, occasionally, just because it's like really easy to clean. Hey. 
Like it's a super easy, uh, it's a super easy mouse pad to clean because it's a sky pad. So it's like it's a glass mouse pad. It's like super easy to clean. All right, let's do a chat. I have three kitties. I have a Bengal, uh, an orange kitty, and a uh, black kitty. Real quick, what the mob is gonna be saying. There you go. Oh, I have no ammo to stop the res. That's bad. Get back to shoot the mob so I can just uh, remotely keep my HP up. Ah, uh, probably a few times a week, man. Cause it doesn't get too dirty, to be honest with you. Over here. All right, here we go. Looking good. They killed Arana. How's day two of working out? It went well. Yeah, it went well. No complaints. Cover each other. We can stop the payload. Lucio coming at you. Maybe do this. All right, worth. Heads up. Do it again. Seventeen, seventeen, seventeen again. Four deep guys. Oh, well, we'll do better soon, Haggy. And I had those all years ago. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm enjoying the new characters. Back to spawn real quick. Did I reach 500? Oh yeah, I did that on the first day. <laughs> well, here's the good news. I just realized the reason why it's taking a while to get healed up is because we're on Lucio Brig. Am 
Might as well go in and get a little bit of all charge, because that's all that's gonna happen. Good news, we were able to... Alright. Well, the good news is, is that we got to experience playing a little bit of tank and, and had fun, which is always nice, right? Where did the Lucy all? I think I just ran the ulted in her back line. Buddy. Being a good kitty? Yeah? I hear you. Hi, bud. You're a goofball, huh? Not sure on that one, Noah. Tampa band. Crazy today. Doing our thing. Did you like playing against Cass against Mago when you're on DPS? You go full right click Randy. I mean, you got to go full right click Randy, right? I mean, if you're playing Cass, you pretty much always got to go full right click, right click Randy. Why? Well, well, you know, it's just for fun. You got to be a right click Randy. You kidding me? Oh, feeling great. There we go. Hey, give me one second, Chai. I need to... Give me one second. Give me my mic, Chan. There we go. It's always one of my favorite ones that happens occasionally where like, like my aunt will call me or like someone in my family will call me and then I'll be I'll be like, hey, you, you called and they're like, yeah, I, I meant to call your dad. But it just like, it randomly chose your name because my dad and I have. <laughs> uh. Uh, Apple tuna pie, thanks for the one. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. I'm like, yep, it's all good. Keep doing our thing. Happy Christmas, Sam. We fight. I right, gotta get the PO box open in too, which will be we having all that stuff uh, after we having all the PO box stuff after um, Christmas. It's gonna be an interesting PO box opening stream. Let's see how that one goes. All right, Jay, you ready to see a dominated push? Mago performance here. And Apple Tuna Pine, thanks for the this up. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. A 
lot of the Mauga like 1v1s now is you just like have to time your display right here as much as you can. And you're good to go. Which is the uh, the heal one. The purple, they didn't purple, which is good. Hi, welcome. Oh. How dare I run into that room by myself without having my teammates with me and then get upset that they got me? Does it keep me up there? You know? Finally, things are getting interesting. The battle is me. Enemy spotted! Launched into Dragon's Breath. First started. Back in a minute. Almost here. They got me? But you know what? What are they gonna do? Shoot the shield? Oh, they shot the shield. Yeah, I don't think I don't think a hog swap now against Mauga is an unethical hog swap. And, and you'll see why. I, I like Miles' gold weapons? Yeah, I mean I don't I, they look cool. You're ready. I know they're gonna eventually go for me. Okay, we're good. Nice jump. Okay, we're good for now. Mog will be available and ranked in two weeks. Oh, 
Oh, they got me. They purple me. They didn't purple me. I probably would have been fine. But you know what are they gonna do? They're stuck in there. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Good luck. How's it going? Oh, they're so mad right now. Hello. Hey, you can't hide. Frankenstein, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, if you want this is calm, no, you can't play Mob Gun Comp. Feel like Maga needs a lot of healing on him. Yep. That's pretty much how it goes. Here's the good news, I had fun. to do this, but here we are. It's okay, because I'm having fun. I think we won. See, there you go. See, Mama, get a good alt off there. Feels good. What we're talking about? Do I think there's any reason to play him in comp? I don't know. It depends how good he is. And if you have good, it's like. I get to remember, like, a lot of time I'm, I'm in the top 100 games, so, like, even if a tank is super tough to heal, I, it's still a possibility you might see, like, there's still a possibility you could see, uh, what's it called? Like, that hero being played a lot because it's kind of how it goes with that, so I don't know. Right now, I don't see the hero being specifically, like, a meta hero yet in, in top 100 because just I just 
people are just gonna farm all charge and they're gonna just gonna keep sleeping Mauga and you're gonna have to run down our Kiriko and then both tanks won't be able to do anything. So. Yeah, it depends on a few things, of course, but yeah. Yep. I'm sure they're gonna tone the hero down a little bit, though. Like I said, I, I fully expect that. I fully expect them to do that. We'll see, though. You never know. We will see. Very much a wait and see on that one. And Ana's then bash and melts him? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the only other thing you could go at that point is Ana Kiriko, right? Like, it's... The key thing you'll see in all of the discussions about, like, what will be good against Malga, you're just gonna keep hearing the response of Ana. <laughs> like, who's good against him? Ana. Ana. Yep. We're chilling. Yep. Ooh. We'll play. We'll play a few Mago games uh, for a little bit, and then we'll end up. Uh, what's it called? We'll end up um, recorded. I would say a video would be pretty cool. Record a video. All right, we got a son. I, th I have three spectators I could record. Maybe I'll record all three today. Maybe I could record all three. Um... We'll see. Still goes. Ugh. Chicken with smile the on my face. <sighs> a mother's work is never done. Okay, we're good there. With each mission, my techniques grow. We did record a video yesterday, yesterday, yeah. That is the thing we did. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, it's game time. Get it done. One more rotation here and I'm good to go. Well, that didn't go as planned. You know? Let's do the chat. For a second. Having 
fun? There we go. You said I actually did my hair this morning? No, I didn't. I just listened. It's okay though, because I'm doing a bunch of damage and that's what matters. Doing a bunch of damage and that is what matters, chat. Let's go. Finally, things get interesting. Okay, I feel like I should make another short or TikTok right now. Like, to let people know when MAGA will be in ranked. Because I get asked that a lot, too. I did one yesterday about the left click and the right click, and I'm just like, I'm just going to go make one. When will MAGA be live in ranked? And I'll give the exact date. Oh, yeah, Overwatch. Back in a second. Oh no! Apparently they're doing damage. That's not good. Not good at all. Next round here. Next round coming up. Score zero to one. Right, we're chilling. You're hard to keep a scope on me. Doing our thing, chat. Always so unpredictable. Oh, I'm. Ascaro, thank you for the. Sorry. Don't be. It keeps me sharp. Give this up, thank you, shame. Thank you. Hey. Here goes. Do it. Does that lesson for myself in the end of there? Probably. We can still turn this around. Everyone, focus. Let's do this. Got all they give with the two gifts that is. Appreciate thank you. That damage. You find success by attacking the DPS versus Mauga. I, if I even get a chance to, I, I try to, but sometimes it's just I can't. It's too much damage. Out of the Reaper to my left right now, making it a little bit more difficult. At least the L was cool, right? I see my darkness. You know? Hey. 
Was Maga here? I'm sorry, what does that mean, Michael? I'm confused. Third round. Welcome to Malga. Having some fun, vibing. Score one to one. Do do do. Okay, what do I have for replay codes? Let me see. Plat Moira, Gold Four Tracer May, who thinks they're too high of a rank. And a Plat Sigma. Okay, that sounds like a good range of different stuff. I'm happy with that one. That sounds good to me. too young that my body couldn't always keep up with me. Besides, it's hard to turn down rocket legs. Target's locked. Open fire. It's asleep. That's not good. Let's do this. I might be able to do a bunch of damage to him though at least. I don't miss their grenade by a mile. Thanks for the four months. Thank you, Prada. Thank you. I mean, the hero's fun. It just depends what armor you're going against. I was going to say. Bad? Oh, for a watch. Nice. Uh, taxi? 
Kevin. Thanks for the three months back here one. Thank you, appreciate it. Does it have to be exactly two gifted, or can you gift five and still get the Echo Skin? Yeah, Does yeah. it have to be exactly two gifted? No, you can or give can five I and get it. Five and still up. get the Echo Skin. That's up to you. But yeah, yes, you would still get the Echo Skin. And there you go, Chad. Just like that, the quick play dub. Quick play dub. Feels good. Uh, Chad, we had some blankets chat for taxons. With the five gifted. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for the five gifted. Mm, thank you. I, did I get the 40 gifted after the Winston W? I did get 50 gifted, yes. When I won the Winston game. Uh, it's like MAGA win right now? I don't know. Let me see. I played like probably over 100 games of MAGA by now, right? Uh, quick play. 55% out of 141 games played. So, uh, Frankenstein, thanks for the two get the thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. So, a much higher sample size too, which is nice. Yeah. Have I played the beast event at all? I have not yet. No. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the thanks for the gifted. When is the new DPS hero drop? Uh, April, right? Yeah, April. Because February season nine, April, around April, give or take. I'm pretty sure the, the, the dates should align with that. If I'm correct. Uh, salesman, thanks for the 14 months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Can you believe it's been almost a year? You're right, it is almost a year. Thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate that. Yep. What are the best comments to like what con like what heroes would you want if you're a Mauga? Uh an Ana and a Kiriko. Or maybe even a Zen if like you want to just go like full damage, but yeah. Let's do this chat. No, I know I was muted. Let's go get this dub. I just made game clips. If you're, since you're on TikTok, go to my link tree on there and you'll see my Discord. Follow everything on that link tree, though. Then if you follow everything, that means everything's followed. Like my Twitter and my streams and everything. So, yeah. Uh, thank you for the 200 bits, Ven. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry, what? Parakeet has left the cage. I say again, the parakeet has left the cage. Uh, Mrs. Decoy, thanks for the fish prize. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go I don't know, depends who you ask. In and out in no time. Let's have it. I'm not 
That's it's gonna go top left. It's gonna go top left, chat. You'll see. You good? All right, perfect. It's time. Okay, I think I lost that. Back in a second. Enemy spotted. How do you count Anna? Play Anna. Nothing like getting double CC'd, right? You know? Back in a minute. I'm not your father. I'm not your father. I'm not we can do this father. chat. Got my ult coming up. Let's do it. You ready? The fish is on the hook. I say again, the fish is on the hook. Damn. Uh, Van, they said 200 bits. Thank you, appreciate it. Oh, okay. Thank you for 200 bits. You said that was a wasted ult? Wait, I'm sorry, are you saying that a Mauga ultimate is a wasted ult when you take the high ground? Or are you saying that there was a, a soldier ult? I'm on fire. Wait to purple me. I'll see you in a bit. I ain't doing that. Was that? I think I was just low HP. My bad. How's it go? Here we go. In my defense, that just seemed like a fun play. Let's look at it, they got purple. See? It was. Here we go. Play? No, but is it fun? Yep. Oh, good, we're vibing. Time and limit, no worries. They've got a turret. Finally, things like 
Interesting. The payload needs to be moved. <laughs> I was seeing if I could crit the Torb turret. I could. Enemy turret sighted. Let's do this. I just one clicked him. What a tree. Yeah, what can you do? What are you doing now? Easy. A heretic gecko? Thanks for the gifted stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Lord Sorcerer, thank you for the gifted stuff. Thanks. Appreciate it. Damage reduction to my Soldier 76. They went Winston, they're gonna have fun. Hi, <laughs> uh, Angelic, thanks for the nine months of the future surprise. I thank you for sharing JH. Thanks for the six months of that tier one. Thanks. Uh, I hope, hope you feel your better day soon. has been all right. Smiley face. Currently dying PS5 dead from a fever, yes. but I don't want to miss any more streams, so here I am. Uh, hugging I, face. I hope you feel better soon. Thing, chat get these dubs i think mauga is the strongest tank um probably not like I, I feel like there's some other tanks that are like still really good right now i think mauga's in a spot where we'll play well in certain ranks certain comps but yeah. still a wait and see Thank you. Mm -hmm. Much fun am I having? Well, I'm, ha I'm having fun. I mean, straight up, I am. Mm. I'm having fun. It's game time. Uh, well be well off. Thanks for the 14 months of the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the 14 months. 
What are the best things to play right now for ranked? I, I don't know. Probably I was playing months. a lot of Sigma and Giants yesterday. A probably Ramatra too. Good luck on your game. And you're right. That is almost a year. Thank you for the 14 months. I appreciate it. How do I like Maga? Fun. Well, yeah, that's um. I want to doubt if they nerf the damage a little bit because that will both not only help the Maga, it will help the supports. Like you're like, what do you mean? How would the less damage help the Maga? It's because more than likely your mirror matchup is a Maga and you're just going to be sitting there doing a bunch of damage to each other. So with reduced damage, there'll be less healing him. Uh oh, put that needs to happen. Um, there'll still be a good amount, but it won't be as much. So, what time am I doing spectating? Soon ish. Soon ish. So, we're getting there. So. Or Mercy Lucio? This would be interesting, because from a heal's point of view, I'm taking a lot of damage. Reload. Not bad. He got out. All right, that's fine. Got back to point now. At the mercy. Backing up. Got him. We keep pushing the bot so we can at least get a checkpoint, maybe. No guarantee. Perfect, they gave us a checkpoint. And then get out. Yeah, I almost built my ult again. Do your thing. What do you think about nerfing the damage and buffing the heal to compensate? Ah, uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, it's hard to say. I don't know if they'll do one of those like trade-off buff nerfs. They might just do a complete nerf. And go We should have all by now. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, we're chilling. Push, 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 push. Pushing the bot.
Good luck to our Lucio. Huge. We can make this work. Backing up over here now. I'm good. Gotta get out. Ah! How'd they find me? Back in a bit. Thank you. Almost, Almost here. Huge. I couldn't tell you what just happened on my screen. Probably not the play to run at them there, to be honest with you. Probably gonna go back to spawn. Oh, you just standing still and feeding? That's the best part. Right? That's the best part when you can see that. We're vibing. Good news is, though, is that I'm having fun. Keep it going. Hey. Let's take things up a notch. Up the game. 
you. Alright. We had a good time. Uh, my doctor, thanks for the two gifted. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for the two gifted and talented. Thanks for the 36 months damage, Thank you. Overtime. We can stop them. I'm a freebie. Stop them from pushing bam, ahead. Bam, bam, bam. Be here in a second. Be right uh, I don't think so, Buckeye. Did Bingo Friday get moved to Bingo Saturday? Thanks for the turn of it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the turn of it. There's something. Let me see. No, I don't know what it was, Buckeye. I'm sorry. Is there something there I'm missing? All right. Is it level 21 already? Yeah, we've been playing a lot of Maga. You know, having a good time. Having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they said they're probably going to adjust Maga even before, like, even, like, before that Tuesday of rank because it's, it's, it's almost holiday, right, for that description of the rank. Huh? I must have missed it. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Let me see. All right. Oh, okay. So, just to point out, by the way, that description, I don't see that. I get what you're saying. I'm looking right now. Yeah, I don't see that description. I, I get a summary of it, and it doesn't tell me. So, what, ha what happens is I think the editor just puts the description on there, and that's what you're seeing. Yep. A gun in each hand and a smile on my face. Someone your size should donate blood more frequently than the average person. You need more? I can get you more. This should be fun. Let's get these dubs, chat. When's the new rank system coming? February. February. The Martins has put their necks on the line protecting you from Vishkar. I only hope one day to return the favor. I play the final gun. I mean, I played it like during the alpha, I think it was. Um, I'm still playing the player right now, but people seem to be having fun with it, which is cool. I haven't seen how it is like since then, but yeah. Let's 
second here. All right, that's not good. So for me. House Reno, thanks for the 52 months of finish passive. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Like the reload time with 350 bullets should be longer. Uh, maybe they can maybe do something like that. You never know. Got him. Wait. There's so much happening. Wait, you can run out of the sick walls? I didn't even... I didn't even test that before. I did not think I could. Well, now I know. I, I, okay. I honestly did not think I could do that. I just ran right out of the sick wall. I was just seeing how much damage I could take, and guess what? There is a lot of damage. You can run out of flux? I, I mean, I guess. Did it shows it in the Malga trailer? Honestly, I that probably, it was probably I just didn't even notice that. What are you gonna do now? Good luck. Hey, you know what? I actually got one. You Drez? Actually, I, I, it's not even worth going Drez. Oh wait, there it is. You Drez? Are we recording videos today? Yeah. Oh, I'll get to that very shortly. We'll record a spectator, a couple spectators.
reload, and then I'm gonna go get the bat. Hey, good news, I ulted, but it, I wanted to get my ult again, so I made sure it was a terrible ult. You know? Did play hog? No. But like Mago? Yeah. Hello. Mago's fun. What to do? Nice, good job, team. Everybody's off the cart, because that's how it goes. Doing this so nobody can get on the cart in their team. Feels good. Got the cart. There you go. Maybe they won't see me over here. Oh, maybe they still won't see me. All right, then they saw me. Didn't go as planned. Get this stuff, chat. In my defense, I just wanted to go in there and see what everybody was up to. Looks like everybody was having a good time, and that's what matters. You know? Why do I run into the wall? You can't move it? Because I'm not trying to run into them. I'm trying to do damage reduction. And then also time my charge. It's not like I'm just running into a wall and trying to move the wall. It's not... The games are vibing, having a good time, you know? No! They got me! Maybe it's still winnable with this huge EMP! You gotta give it a minute, though!
Here it comes. DMP time. It's gonna be huge. Oh, no. It's okay, I had fun. Oh, the game's good, though. Like I said, we'll probably play a couple more Malgo games, and I'll get into recording a few spectators. I think that's the plan. And that's currently the plan. A red flame. Thanks for the Prince Prime stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. The diamonds. Appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> Someone. In so, so someone in someone in my in the wow and wow goes right now. Aren't you playing Overwatch at the moment? I go yes. I just have I have uh, SOD in the background, like casually leveling. <laughs> I was like, aren't you playing Overwatch? Oh like, yep. Uh. What class? Um, mage. I just, like, do it, like, I, I get, like, I'll probably complete, like, ten quests throughout a stream, but for me, that's, like, ten quests I wouldn't normally complete if I just, like, because I, obviously, we play a lot of Overwatch, so. For me, it's, like, you know, get a little bit of level and time in while in between queues talking to chat and just, I'm level 21, so that's pretty good, you know? Uh, just start with whatever, Tony, at this point, I mean, like. That's generally how you how you will start. All the other stuff, like the, the mic and the camera stuff, like I upgraded that as I as I went with streaming. Like, I used to just I upgraded over time. So mm -hmm. Actually, maybe I go this way. Mm, no, we'll go this way. I'm gonna auto run that way. Oh, we got a King's Row. Feels good. I got three spectating codes to record, so. Get these dibs. Here we go, let's do it! Uh, they'll, they'll, nerf, they'll nerf Maga in some way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say a ton of because I think that, as we've seen, it, the right combos will make Maga not do that well. I hope so. So, as we've seen. Okay, I'm in the Okay, okay. Hello. Okay. Okay. You got the demon on your side. Hello there. Mm. Hello. Hello. Get these dubs, Shant. First time catching stream. Welcome. Hope you enjoy. Attackers incoming. Am I ranked yet? No. Right, no. I mean, I played ranked yesterday. We had a good day ranked. Had good games yesterday. I think is actually pretty solid against Mauga. It just depends how the other Ana is playing it. And if they can cleanse any of the stuff. If they can't, then we're probably in a good spot. This is the part where I have to hide. Yeah, that's the one part that will get me. That play right there, the Ana grenade. Feels good. We can do this. Oh. 
Thank you. I should be fine. Yep, looks good. How do you cancel the jump? You just you hit the button again that you used initially. Whatever button you're hitting to like start that ability, you just hit it again. Just watch, see? And then when you go here, hit the button again. See? And that's that. It's cool. Not bad. Take out my ult. Thanks for patching me up. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, Wreck and Wall. I'm sure you're having a great time. I have my ult, but I'm trying to find like a timing where I want to use it. I wonder, I have an idea. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the tier one. Keep it going. That was a lot of Overwatch. That certainly was a lot of Overwatch, wasn't it? Watch this though. What does the new Rumble set and thing do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I'm a. All right, time to ult chat. This is gonna be a perfect ult time. And here we go. Ult and cart. right over here like in this hallway I got the health pack so that maybe they're above us wait a second are they up here no I hear the bastion Soldiers does a bit of a damage reduction in the heal. See how my teammates with that ability. Not bad. Run!
I'm not mad. fun all right i'm thinking one more manga game and then we'll record a couple spectators and then we'll figure out what we're doing after that sounds good let's do that that sounds good to me Let's get these dubs. Let's get these dubs. Oh, we're vibing, stretching. You said I should just spend less time attacking tank and more time attacking squishies. I can tell you right now, if I go to their back line and try to go on their back line, I will spend more time running back from spawn. Uh, Doffy, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's, it's, it's not going to necessarily work that way. You're, gonna, you're just not... If they're all playing stacked, maybe. But that ain't happening. That ain't happening. That's not... That ain't happening. You're going to fall right over. Too much damage output, so you need to be able to farm up your HP on the tank, which which is the reason why you can't go to the back line. And if you do, you see it every single time. Anytime I try to go for the back line, I get rolled by the Malga. Why? Because they just shoot at me the whole time to keep their HP at 650, or whatever the HP is. No. Yep. Your response to that was Life Weaver? Yeah, but if you don't have a life weaver, then how how is understandable? Have a nice day. There's been oh the ship, the uh, the PO box stuff. I'm sure it'll be a treat. I'm sure it'll be a treat. I'm sure they're all. I I don't. I, they haven't even like. Yep. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Roomba, thanks for the two months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, two months. Oh, I expect half of the stuff in the P.O. box to be a meme. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about it. Only thing I will say is I the, everything's getting, like, with the P.O. box stuff, I'm not going to be seeing what it is, but there, the stuff will be seen or, like, looked at beforehand. Um, Like, I won't, like... It'll be in the box. I won't see any of it, but the stuff will be made sure that it's good for stream. So. But I won't be looking at it. I, I when I open it for the first time, like on stream, that will be my first time seeing what's in there. 
Unless it's really obvious. Obviously, if, like, what I say is, like, the box says what the item is. You know what I mean? But... Do I read chat? I do read chat. Yes. That's... Yes. Did maybe try not to get uh, poked too much so you can play aggressively. Yeah, but, like, you, you can't even... Like, I, I, I do that sometimes now. I think my Mago gameplay is, like, kind of expanded a little bit to using the cooldowns correctly, etc. But, like, if if they have any... Best way to explain it. They have any way to just give you... um if they, Any way for them just to use a cooldown on you, then, like, that already, like, disrupts your play. So... You're going to send me Moxie? That soda, like I said, my grandfather absolutely loved that soda. I, not my favorite. Not my favorite. Can't wait for Randomizer to come back. Yes, I agree. Actually, let me talk to Danny about that. Start in next Saturday. Let's get... Here you go. All right, New Junk City. Malga versus Malga is a good match. That's a good counter, 100%. Oh, you think Somber Rework might have hacked that up? Oh, in the Randomizer? That's true. That's true. A treat for everyone. Uh, I creep. Thanks for the two gifted. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for the two gifted. Thank you. Let's go and get these dubs. Let's go and get these dubs. I'm like a chat, give me a mic.
Sorry, I was talking to my... Dude, I'm just getting called by all my aunts today. <laughs> my, aunt, my aunt calls me and goes, You're the only one who picked up in your family. He's like, that's rare. I'm like, yep. Apparently everybody else in my family didn't pick up. And she's like, you're the, only one who, you're the only one who picked up. I'm like, yeah. she's like, what the heck? Out of all people. I'm like, yeah. That's why I said one second chat. I was going to mute my mic. And then people were like, mute it. I'm like, I, I was going to mute my mic. I can survive that still. Because of the damage reduction. Okay, now we're playing. Yeah, really, no one in my family was. was they're all just busy. If we're locked, that's fair enough. All right, what do we got here? Ugh, should be good. Eyes on a right, after this chat, let's record some spectating. Sound good? I know there's a pharaoh right on the ground. They're gonna go up on the high ground. Got them. Mercy already res. Don't have to worry about the res. Look at that chat. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. This will be good timing. Got a good amount of Mauga in. Record a few spectatings. Go from there. See how, see how we're feeling after that. Whether we do a half day, full day. I don't know. Figure it out. Let's do this. Help our teammate a little bit. They gotta drop down here. Drop down. Here. Oh, that's not good. And they backed out. Okay. Go back this way. Okay, that time it didn't work. <laughs> I guess my timing was a bit off. Didn't work that time, chat. He said, don't use this tank, coward. Why? We go. Yeah, that's, a, that's in the Twitch chat.
I had to stay on the point, but I also reduced uh, damage on that one. I mean, I that matchup can be pretty tough right now, um, backpacker. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, chat. I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna record a couple spectators. Does that sound good to everybody? Sounds good to me. Uh, what do I have here? Okay, perfect. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, let's do it. All right, be back a second chat, and then we'll record a spectator. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Hit the follow button if you have it. I'll be your beat. Right, we're here, chat. You ready? Uh, Smurfette, thanks for the two gifted. Thank you, appreciate it. You ready, chat, for us to record a spectating? Here's our code. You said that the Twitter giveaway, I'll, the, that'll be announced tonight. Um, I'll post the stuff on Twitter tonight. <clears throat> ready for All right, who are we watching here? Here we go. I can't sit. Ready for battle. Ready for All right. battle. Let me get to the chant here. We're not doing bingo. That's just yesterday. All right. Let's give it. We'll give it one more second here, chat, and then we're gonna record this video. Uh, I have a few. I have like three spectators to record. Um, I just this is just to keep up up on my YouTube videos because we have. Uh, yeah, it just, it just keeps the uh, YouTube videos rolling. And uh, as I've been telling chat, uh, for people who like watching rank games and stuff like that, the third channel should start next week. You're going to start seeing YouTube videos pretty consistently on there, okay? Uh, uh, yes, yo, thanks for the free just process. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it's been a bit since we've had posted on there, but now we, we, have, we have a channel manager for it, so we should be able to, to get out the stuff on there that we want more. Uh, that we want to do more of, which would be nice. So that'll be nice. All right. All right, chat. We ready? Is it time? Time to record the spectating. Let's do this. 
Where is the summary of this before I start? Here it is. All right, so today's video, we're watching a Plat Moira on King's Row. Now, best way to describe this game, just something interesting happens in this game. And that's basically the best thing I can say um, without giving away what will happen. I don't even know what's going to necessarily happen here, but it's, it's an interesting. It sounds like this game has quite the end into it. So we'll see. Uh, Velvet Hybrid, thanks for the future prize. I think you appreciate it. Thank you. So let's see what happens. Five, four, three, two, Here we go. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Let's see how this goes. We got the, the, the Reinhardt versus Roadhog. Okay, off to a really good start there. Um, yeah, I, so in that situation, you don't have to necessarily play up there with your hog. Your hog is going to fall back, right? Like... If your hog stays up there and goes, why didn't you heal me? At that point, your hog is already not playing that the way you're supposed to. In a sense, like, you can stay a little bit further back to not be caught out in the middle. Just already, that's just something that I just noticed right there. Like, it seemed like you wanted to stay there just to heal your, your hog like you were healing a Rhine. But if you're, you're, your hog to be backing up, right? And, and then healing as they back away. So, your position was a little bit tough there, but that's why we have the front line support in the big card. All right, just watching the heals. This is the one thing I'm noticing too is you also you're, you're you're going more of the kind of just left click your teammate style here, and I think if you can find a better balance, so that way you can build up your because remember your damage builds up your resources, right? Your damage builds up your resources, so that way you you can kind of heal the way that you want to. But it's okay to throw it a little bit more damage and just sit in there and, like, kind of hold left click on your Roadhog, for example. When in reality, your Roadhog isn't necessarily going to need that. Be careful of getting hacked here again after your ult. Okay, you're good. You're good. Um, so, like, your, your Hog should not require a Moira to be holding left click on him the whole time. But, like, you can heal your Hog. But, like, if your Hog it just... It, it, like you can heal your hog, but your hog isn't going to need you to hold your left click to just get rid of all of the resources you have. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's... Like, if your hog doesn't want to back up, then that's going to be on your hog. But that's... You know what I mean with your hog? Your hog took a lot of damage, but they were able to get out there. So... It's like... Try to find a better balance of how you're doing both this damage and this healing. If your hog decides to sit up there and get rolled, that's going to be on your hog. And that's what's happening. Anytime your hogs die right now, they get EMP'd. They're playing too far up. Like, that's where you're at with hogs. Big slam? Okay, that was a nice shot. You can do anything about that one. Yeah, it's just like one of those situations where you're just kind of... You can, you can use a bit more of your kit. I think is a good way to explain it. You can use a bit more of your kit. So... All right. Okay with that for now. I'm watching. Okay, you have a free ult here because you don't have to worry about that if you want to. I should tell them to aim their orbs more efficiently too. I mean, I could, but have you ever seen me try to throw a healing orb? I throw that thing and it goes to Horizon Lunar Colony. So... No matter which way I throw that, that healing orb, it somehow just doesn't heal anybody and goes to the sky. So. I, I, I don't know how to, like... It very much seems like you, your, your play style is just trying to heal that hog, which... I guess you almost have to, right? But like you, like, there's definitely gonna be more value from just putting your damage orb into there. Yeah, the hog is just running at them and face tanking. This is one of these situations where like, I, 
I'm trying to think of a way to explain this. If your hog keeps running at them and face tanking like that, it's going to be really difficult, especially on defense, to continuously make that play happen. There are going to be moments where it's where it's going to work, but that's what your hog's doing. Your hog is just face tanking as hog. Like running right into them and just being like, yep, here we go. Huge EMP. EMP's better now, but last three seconds, so big slam. They see, there you go. That's more like it with the healing orb. You see that goes right to the skybox? Okay, here we go. What's the play? I'm okay with that damage orb. I was until I realized it went below the map. Ah! I'm okay with the idea of the damage orb. Here we go. Now you're putting a little bit more damage output in. Careful of this as a somber to your left. But okay, you're good. You're good. Okay, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, it's been good timing on this one so far. Yeah, hey, y'all just got rolled. Big slam. What rank is this? Uh, plat. So like, well, what we're watching right now. This is the straight up. What we're watching right now is you just sitting there, trying to heal up your hog, and then like. That's pretty much it. And then when you do go for damage is when you have to retake. I just want you to remember you're okay, now you have an Arissa. So you can you can go into a little bit more of that style now if you need to, right? Because the Arissa does not have the same self-healing that Hog does, right? So this changes your play style. But when you have a hog, your hog is gonna be able to heal and reduce damage pretty frequently. To the point where it's okay to throw spot heals and do that, but you can get more value out of just like doing what you're doing a lot of the time when you have a hog. Let's see what you do here. Let's see what, let's see what adjustments you make. Okay, you heal an orb. That, that was fine. You can see your wrist up. Running out of healing resource now. This is where you're going to have to throw a damage orb. That's good. That's going to give you that, that resource a little bit. Remember, damage orb. That's fine. Damage orb gives you healing resource. Okay? So. Sometimes it's okay to throw a damage orb in there to get that resource back if you're not able to get right-click damage in. For example, they're running the Reinhardt. You can't get that damage in output if they're holding their shield, but a damage orb will, right? So you can get that value out of that damage orb a lot of the time. So that's why I'm saying for you, I can already tell one of the things you can definitely work on is just how you balance your orbs more than anything. This is plat. Yeah, that, that, that is not on you. That is on your Arissa sitting in the middle of the open trying to face tank a Bob. Especially with the cooldowns that Arissa has, your Arissa should normally be fine there. Need a moment to recharge. Here we go. Yeah, this is flat. I'm telling you. Chris just use uh, Javelin spin like a Sigma. I mean, you can still use your um, Javelin just to stop the bob for a few seconds, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Big slam! Off to a tough start so far. You can heal an orb if you need to. There you go. I'm okay with that healing orb. Nice, so I, I actually surprised you won that team fight. Good job. That, that, see, that's a situation where like, if we're really looking at the orbs, you don't need to heal an orb that because everybody in your team's gonna be full anyway. Throw a damage orb down there. Get get a little bit of, you know, that 5%, 6% ult charge sometimes that like you don't get can be like a huge difference maker. Straight up. It can be like a huge difference maker. Because like you do that five or six times, that's 30, 40% ult charge that you wouldn't normally have, and now you're able to rotate your ult a little bit. Alright, that is certainly. I kind of like, I actually like the idea of that healing orb because it bounces off those walls, but it's not going to get them. Yeah, like, I, I, I really feel like you should just, if you want to play this style of, like, left-click Moira, get those damage orbs into that team there, so that way you can build up your resources to keep up with your play style. Because otherwise, you're going to keep having the same, like, rotation of, you hold your left-click down, unless one of them is really close to you, you don't build up your resources. Just throw a damage orb in there, and it will give you the resources back, and then you're going to be able to constantly maintain that left-click play style that you want to maintain. Right? And that, that, that's that. 
Um, and then you can find that really good balance between heals and damage there, right? Even the damage orb alone, like... I mean, that healing orb is... It's just... Uh, there you go. You got a damage orb in there. Okay? Maintain your, your resources just enough. And that gives you more heals. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the Moira ult. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's something needed to happen where your team hit buttons and your team did. And I just heal him. You're fine. There you go. There you go. You can throw. You can. Don't even throw. Yeah, there you go. Damage orb. Nice. Okay. Find that balance. I'm telling you. You find that balance, you're gonna be able to play the way that you want to play, uh, play style wise more. Straight up. Here we go. Okay, what's next? Your team has Soldier Elf. Throw damage orb. Like, like, I want you to like sit there and I want you to see that healing orb and I want you to... What was... What, what, like, what, when I say why, I'm not going, oh, why are you doing that? I'm, I'm asking you, like, when you're doing that healing orb, like, what, what, what is like the... What is the reasoning behind that orb like what what are you like is it going to keep your zarya alive because you're still going to get more value out of that damage orb right away because your zarya is going to have the bubbles and have and, and back up and keep in mind that healing orb probably won't stick to your um that healing orb probably won't stick to your zarya will probably bounce off six walls and no go nowhere which we, we just saw and i'm not saying you don't use your healing orb i'm saying you need to figure out the balance between using your healing orb and not having to just like heal for like 50 and then just fly off into the sky you know what i mean Damage orb, just damage orb. Throw it right through. There you go, perfect. See, that's what I mean. You have a damage orb that's getting you value, right? And then you're also building your resources up. So now you can play that play style that you want to play. Do you see the difference of like how these team fights are going? When you're able to like just throw in that little extra damage, you'd be surprised how ridiculous the damage orb can be. And like you'll get value you don't even expect to get. Like you'll get value you don't even expect to get. You'll be like. What just happened? You'll get 12% ult charge, and you'll you'll get a random elip, right? So find that... that that's on your Zarya. I do want to point out they have a D.Va now, okay? There it is again. Oh, it came back to you. That's an ult that you used. This was certainly a, um, an ult that was used by your team. Yes, Diva will get a little bit more value now. Diva can eat your orbs. I will say though, uh, Hoopla, thanks for the gift of something. Give me shit. I don't think that. Uh, my opinion, I don't think that Diva will get the same value against your Moira orbs. If, I, okay, if, say that your tank was on Diva right now, and it was a Diva versus Diva mirror, I would see that Diva getting more value against your orbs. But that Diva has a little bit more to worry about right now than just the Moira orbs. Because there's a Zarya on your team who can shred the D.Va. So playstyle-wise, that, that D.Va's going to have to have a different adjustment. Otherwise, it's going to get shredded and, and taken out of mech system. And Hoopla, thanks for the two gifts of Dennis. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, a healing orb right into the D.Va matrix. Making sure it's working. Defense matrix is working. All right. Looks like we're going to try and heal up the cart as much as we can. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's full HP. Should be good to go now. Damage orb. Perfect. It's fine that it got eaten. I just want you to get the idea of like balancing these orbs. Damage orb. Perfect. Good job. Damage orb. That's a healing orb, but that's, we'll take it, I guess. Well, well, there it goes. It's going over there to say hi to everybody. Okay, nice job. A little bit better. Your team ended up rolling there. I, I think that their hero selection there ended up helping your team. Keep in mind, because chat's going to be like, what do you mean? I've watched you play D.Va, and you'll play D.Va against Zarya. Keep in mind, that's different team comps. I'm playing in a different style. You probably won't quite frequently see me go D.Va versus Zarya on King's Row. Gibraltar? Probably. Dorado? Probably. You know, obviously not a third point. You can play D.Va in a lot of situations against Zarya, especially when you can kind of, like, track bubbles from a different way and just not right in front of them. But that's the situation where that kind of played into your team's play style, which was... Super nice. All right, here we go. 
You're gonna watch this if it becomes a video? I mean, I all my spectators usually go on YouTube, so definitely worth it. If you watch right now, make sure you're subbed to all the YouTubes. People who like ranked also, the third channel is gonna start having pretty consistent uploads there of ranked games and like gameplay and stuff like that. So if you like that, make sure to check it out. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, they switched to Sigma now. Good damage orb, by the way. You hear that? You don't even know what's going on with that damage orb right now, but you're getting value. I'm okay with this healing orb because you saw the HP, but I also want you to look at your resources. So it technically could have been okay to throw a damage orb in there and then catch up on the resources to be able to heal your Zarya. So. Oh, there goes the healing orb. Just seeing what's going on over there. That was certainly some gameplay. Nice. All right, that worked out. Good job by your Ash taking high ground, too. Is that your Ash up there? Yeah. No, wait. Your soldier, excuse me. Your soldier took high ground. Ash All right. Now you're in overtime. So this this could be good. Throw a damage orb down there. Okay, I mean, that's probably going to do damage. You don't even know. See, see what I mean, though? You don't even see them. You just picked up 3% ult charge. You're going, 3% ult charge? That's nothing. I'm telling you right now. Sometimes that 3% ult charge is the difference between you getting an ultimate in time here and not getting an ultimate when you need it. You, you, you end the round at 97% ult charge, and that 3% would have been the difference. There you go. I, now you're... See, I want you to, once again, see the value you're getting from your damage orbs and how your resource meter is staying up and higher more than it usually does because of those damage orbs. Like I'm telling you. Like, you're getting a lot of value out of that orb. And, I'm, and that damage orb will complement your play style that you have, which is throwing damage orbs off of, or healing orbs off of walls. Instead of doing that, you can throw a damage orb off a wall. It will find somebody. Sometimes it will do damage, and you'll be able to... Look at that. You just got an assist. Look at that. Uh, Sentinel, thanks to the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Don't get off that cart. I think you're the only... Are you the only one on cart? I can't tell. Uh -oh. Alright, well, that's that. Nope. Oh, your teammate recognized it. Ooh, yep, rock. Nice rock. Nice. Yeah, someone on their team isn't there now, too. Someone left. Did they lag out or did they leave is the question. Let's find out, actually. Who left? Wait, how long? Okay, it was the Ash? Let me see. I don't take kindly to be a knockdown. Oh, they lost the point and just left. Overtime. Okay, now we know. I apparently they just were mad they lost the point and then just left. They're like, oh no, that's it, that's game over. People on this team fight. Sorry, I'm, I'm skipping ahead. All right, we're good. Uh, Sep, thanks for the Fiji's prompts. Thank you, appreciate it. That, that's no fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was a lag out. I think it, the floating Moyer orb, that's just reminding you. See, even the game in spectator mode is reminding you, use this orb. This orb can result in a victory. Use this orb more often. See? Just reminding you. But yeah, that's no fun. The thing is, is you know what? Like, want a hot take here? I still think their team can win this 4v5. Especially with this Moira we're about to see. Get ready. Nice damage orb. Love to see it. Okay, never mind. Now here's the question. Oh. Okay, not bad.
Yeah, they all just left. Yeah, they all they, they all left. So wait, does that bat just stay there? I don't really even think I have to. Initiating match. Ready for the That was the game. You just won. Good job there. Nice defense. Great defense right there. Yeah, that's that's a. That that's a feels bad. Basically, it looks like one of their teammates just left, and that was that. Which 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 which, it's a feels bad because you could tell that it wasn't like a lag out. They were just like, oh yeah, we lost the first point. Game's over. GG's, and they left. And then maybe they thought the game was over. I, I've actually heard of that sometimes. Where like, in those three to three games, the, the like some will be like, oh the game's over. They caught the point. That's it. GG's. And nope. They definitely could have held that. They definitely could have had a, a good game too. That's a feels bad. Um, just a reminder, and we talked about it, you got to work on your balance a little bit of like where you're at with your, your damage orb and your healing orb. I think if you improve in that, you'll actually see even more value out of what your play style was in this game. Um, I think you really will. Um, you can benefit from that for sure. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, sub to all three YouTubes if you haven't. A lot of awesome videos on there. If you would like to submit your own spectate, look in the description below. In the description is my Discord. That's where you'll do that. Follow everything in the description if you haven't though. A lot of... Stuff on there you can follow. That's what I that's what I got. We record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right there below the webcam. And uh, with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day slash night. Perfect. Got that one done. That's one video. I got an, I got two more spectating chats. Sound good? You say GG's after the first death? That sounds about right. <clears throat> All right. Next one. All right. Let's do this. Give me a second chant. Ready back. All right. Okay, we are watching. Uh, we are watching the Tracer. You gotta watch some Tracer gameplay, Chad. Are you ready for this? Ready. Ready for battle. Are we ready? Endorsement level five? I mean, they've changed kind of how endorsements work now. So in my opinion, it's a lot easier to maintain and get that level five. It's a lot easier. Like, a lot easier. So... All right. All right, chat. Are we ready? Is it time? All right. So today's video, we're watching a gold four tracer and some may is played in here, too. Uh, just a quick a quick summary of this. Uh, basically, they don't think they deserve to be gold uh, on DPS. They actually think they're, they should be more in silver and don't remember or know why they're gold. So, they're just curious about what we think about this one. So, let's find out. Are they not gold and should be in silver? We'll find out. Also, chat, if you're wondering why the Tracer is sitting here, it's because... You, there's an emo where you can kind of just chill here, and it's really hard to see the Tracer, so the Tracer can kind of time their play. We'll see if it actually works. Let's find out. Five, four, Kill it by three, three, on the board. Two, one. Attackers incoming. I'm, I'm watching from their angle if this is going to work or not. I'm really curious. The good start so far. This is, uh... Yeah, you're doing great. All right, there we go. All right, now's your time. Wow. Excellent start. It was, I got to see so much there. I think you're good to go. I think you're good to go. Okay, you're going to hide right here now. Okay, you heard the Reaper. Don't peek. Oh, listen, if you're going to hide, you know, give it a second. You just use three blinks. You have no blinks left. You have recall, but you have no blinks. You have no blinks. You have you you just use all your blinks for fun. Okay, so one thing that we always talk about with Tracer is that 
your 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 blink management and how you kind of keep those cooldowns, you need to not just blink three times just for fun. Because once you do that, you'll have a fourth blink, which will be the blink that will happen after your recall, and then you just sit there going, hello, have a good day, everybody. So right away, I just watched you waste your blinks for fun. Okay. You said, isn't Tracer about confusing people and going around everybody? You didn't think you were to hide? So, like, I want you to think about it this way. What is going to be a better start for you, especially at the beginning of the maps or, like, new areas of the map? Is it going to be running at them in a straight line and just start, you just start blasting? Or is it better to start somewhere at the beginning of a map in a decent spot where you can hide and then be able to make those plays in the back line? You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, you're not going to hide the whole time, but you definitely, you have 150 HP, you don't want to just run at them in a straight line. That was a good pulse bomb too, I agree. Uh, oatmeal, thanks for the two gifted, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. So, you said you always just flank and recall? Yeah, I mean, oh, that's a tough start. Be careful, there's a basher to your left. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to back away. You want to wait as long as possible for your team to... No, don't go in there yet. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, make sure to show where you're at so just so they know where you're at first and then blink onto the point and then recall right where you just were. Get the Ana. And then... It... You want to know something, chat? I, I think the Ana pick was worth it. <laughs> the Ana pick was worth it. I mean, I, as much as, I still don't think it was uh, the ideal play, but I mean, you got the Ana pick and then Junkrat gets three and there you go. So it kind of worked out. I think you could have still delayed it without going back to spawn, but I mean, I, it kind of ended up being worth it, honestly. Uh, Diamond Time Army, thanks for the free surprise, but thank you, appreciate it. Be careful here again though. I want you to think about to your right now for just one second. Just be careful. They're to your right, so you're kind of out of position now when you recall. They're gonna see you from your right. Your your, your tunnel vision. Okay, honestly, apparently they don't they don't care that you're there. Never mind, just keep doing what you're doing. Apparently they're just tunnel vision and they're not even looking at the tracer that's just sitting there in the middle of their team. I don't I Target focus. There you go, nice. I'm okay with you on the Lucio right now. This is your target focus. Lucio for now. What a pig pen. What an inconvenience that was. Holy crap. Did you, did you end up, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't get to see, but did you get the uh, the, the new Tracer weapon skin uh, called the uh, Silencer? Because uh, why, was, why were you able to do that for as long as you did without anybody really doing anything? Like, nobody even cared that you were there 95% of the time, which I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. They're like, yeah, you know what? They're not hitting their shots. We're fine. It's all good. You know? Like, ah, it's, it's fine. Uh, Coven, thanks for the five months of that tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. And uh, Diamond Time Army, thanks for the give this up. Thank you, appreciate it. All right. What's the rank? Gold. Gold four, I think. But they, they, they think they shouldn't be in gold. They, they said that they should have... The, very least be in silver. They, they, they don't they, they think they're too high of a rank. Okay, they heard you blink. So they know you're here. So what's your next step? Alright, we'll see where this goes. Let's recall on the on the on the, on the air. that's fine. 
That's a wall. That's I, I like the I like the effort. I love the Lucio running at you in a straight line. Even better. Good shots on the Lucio, I mean honestly. Uh Grey Goose, thanks for the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for tier one. All right, let's keep it going. Reaper's behind you. You heard the Reaper behind you. There's a Reaper behind you. You heard the Reaper go all the way over there. All right, we're going to go back over here now. Just explore the map, trying to find the health pack, which is right there. There's, there's a health pack right there. All right, making sure this is all set for the... the already given up on the, on the second point. I've decided that... You're a third point team. You can easily go to this point here. Your teammates are still there. You have plenty of opportunity to set up for this point. Oh, let's just check out the chairs here. There are those are chairs. They have gotten off the point. You can go to this point now. Let's head on over to that point here in a second if you don't mind. There we go. Nice. Huge. Get a pulse bomb there. The floor is looking pretty solid. Doesn't seem like... No, it looks like the roads are still good. They're going to be able to get through there. All right. On to May. I don't mind May here. I think it's a good pick. I stand with you. Okay. Like what I'm seeing. Wait for it. Hey, you got in the limb. That was... Yup, your team is playing Overwatch. All right, be careful here. You got two. You should be in a good spot now. I want you to concentrate on a good May wall here. Just get a good May wall. That helps, that helps your team, not their team. All right, let me just check. Did you put your Venom Mine down? I didn't... Oh, you're on May! Over here, over here playing Widowmaker! I don't... Greetings. Like, set up on the map yeah, a little spectating. bit. Spectating. Uh, Dummy, thanks for the six months of tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for six months. That's the point I'm making is they're over here playing Sniper Mag. Oh. Chat. Chat. You're, you're typing question marks here. I know that they're on May, but the play style they had, they were playing Widow. And don't get me wrong, it's okay to play right click, but you had plenty of opportunity to go around the map, get a little bit closer, don't give them the map control, use your May wall. Uh, Sergeant, thanks for 27 months of tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Among. All right, back to Tracer now. I'm okay with the Tracer. Yeah, May, it's okay to play a little more aggro. Don't get me wrong, the right clicks can be powerful there. I just felt like it would have been a lot better if you were playing a little bit closer. Because what ended up happening was is you're not really using your utility to like your benefit, nor your team's benefit. So they just get full map control and it doesn't give you opportunity or space to be able to win the team fight that way you normally could win it a lot closer. I love thanks for the four months of leader friends. You too, you too. Happy holidays. All right, here we go. Nice start. Nice start for your team. They're on Mercy Lucio, which is certainly going to be good for your team. Now, chat's like, what do you mean? What's wrong with that? Listen, I, I don't mind having a Mercy or a Lucio on my team. But when Mercy and Lucio are like the comp, the, the, the heals are a lot less than they would normally be. Um, so you run into this issue where like, 
the Mercy ends up having to just keep the tank alive the whole time, and the Lucio tries to have to time their heal boost, and it just makes it really difficult. So, it's just, it's not the best combo you can have. It can work. All right, so I want you to something I've seen you do about three times now. Stop just getting the pulse bomb and going. I have this button. I'm gonna pulse like. You you could have just blinked or moved like two feet forward and that Bastion gets Pulse Bomb, goes into turret form, takes no damage, and you go, well, that was fun, but at least it sticks, right? You believe it or not, actually, so you, you said, what about Mercy Zen? Mercy Zen's a little bit different at that point. Let me explain why. So the reason why Mercy Zen is actually a comp you'll see, and you see it in top 500 games sometimes, is because the Mercy at that point, right, is just keep is, is, is just pocketing in the DPS, the Zen is Discord in their tank or somebody on their team, and the tank that you have in Mercy Zen just plays really passive and just farms the damage output. And that's why Mercy Zen plays really well with like Sigma Wrecking Ball Center, right? So, yep. I uh, lost it. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that happened. It's okay. It's unlucky. Okay, you have Pulse Bomb. What's your play here now? I want you to be patient with this Pulse Bomb. It, it might miss still, but I want you to, like, just don't try to launch this thing, okay? This is a perfect Pulse Bomb right here. All right. I love that you try to go for the long range. Um, so there isn't... There isn't a... Um, you can be within 0. .0001 meters, zero meters of them. You can be right next to them. Uh, you don't have to go for the 25-yard um, pass play. A Diamond Time Army, thank you for the gift and stuff. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Mercy Zen's a comp that works. Like, Mercy Lucio can work, and it will work in some ranks. It's just more along the lines of, like, it's just... Don't expect a ton of healing in that comp. Right, I'm watching. Good job getting on their back line. Nice play. Good job. All right, you, you got you got your teammates. They're good. They haven't added the option to heal with your uh, your the tracer uh, pistols yet, but you never, you never know. You never know. Here we go. Did you you like the Mercy Lucio comp, but you're in gold? So I mean that's fair. I, like I said, one thing I'll also that was just a, a unlucky unlucky on that one. Keep in mind, whenever I talk about like comps that are working aren't going to work, etc. Like I totally understand like comps will play differently, and that's why I try to when I look at like certain ranks and like where players are playing in and like the position and etc. I, I I try to sometimes be like, okay, are they playing in a spot you'd see in top 100? No, but do I know why they're playing there and understand why? Yes. Yeah. You gotta remember where their spawn is. Their spawn's right there, so if you end up in the middle of them and you're not watching behind you, that's what happens. Yeah, it looks like you got lost a little bit that one. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Here we go. Okay, what's the what's the play? Huh? Second chance. Gotcha something. Chat! I need you to see this! The pulse bomb missed! But the Arissa Javelin, so the jab they the 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 Arissa Javelin, the May into the pulse bomb. Watch. So the pulse bomb missed, right? 
But now watch, the javelin? See? That's how that hit. That's why it looked like like that, that point of view was like, what? So the javelin ended up... You don't see that every day. <laughs> yeah, that was intentional. That was the call out, I bet. We don't get to hear the voice comms, but I imagine the voice comms was, hey, can you try to pulse bomb one of them? I'm going to javelin them into it. That must have been the call out in the voice chat, right? Dude, that's your luck and ranked. Oh, you're that May in that situation? Also, I want to point out, you see how their May is playing really close to this is exact corner that you decided to play the sniper May? You see that difference in that value that May is bringing to that area of the map? That's why I wanted to see you push up and take that angle because it's going to be more beneficial to you and your team rather than just sitting back playing sniper May. Careful here. They, 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 they heard your blinks. All right, apparently that didn't matter. They just ran in a straight line at you. Okay, perfect. Pulse bomb time, chat. I want you to get a little bit closer on your pulse bombs right now. I guess you can aim a little bit higher to get a little bit more loft on them, but I want you to just like get a little bit more closer and just go for the pulse bomb. All right, a little bit closer. Perfect. Just go, go and ice just, the May. Just throw it at the May's feet. Well, they're in the, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, now, touchdown. Uh, Cole, thanks for the four months. The big friends, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for the four months. There is no way. There is no way. I, I, I do, it, it doesn't even. Keep in mind, Chad, at this point, their team wiped them, but on, that, great play. You said that's an ego bot? How, first of all, first of all, how, how, how is this an ego bot? They made a great play, but where do we get ego bot out of this? That was a great play. I play the song. Yeah, why not? Chat just chat likes the song. I understand. How's that an ego vod? It was a good play. <laughs> I mean, <it's... laughs> they could have touched the car cube and they did lose a team fight, but they could have they could have like been in a better spot to have a retake. So we'll play it. Yeah, if you didn't push the card as far as you did during that team fight, I think there might have been an opportunity for your team to retake over and over again. So. Yep. Also, can, Zombie, can you believe that you made that song seven months ago? Like that, that you did? All right, back to May. So let's see what the play style is. Let's see what the play style is. I want to see more value out of your May this time. By the way, this is fine for right-click spam. Right here is fine. Keep this in mind. You're going to right-click spam at this point. Nice wall. See, look at this. See, like how you're with your team and you're playing close up with your team? Look at the value you get. Right? Actually, a fairly decent wall. Not bad. Not a bad wall. The Mercy's stuck in it. <laughs> the Mercy's legitimately stuck in that May wall. You can see them. They couldn't move. <laughs> All right. 
Good job. That was a good hold. They just didn't have time. All right, let's keep going. I shall let that round complete. You said you, you, the May? What rank is this game? Gold, but they think they should be in silver. All right, here we go. Let's see how your attack goes. Can you get the victory? Or will you draw? Let's find out. Start. Not as good of a start, but you're. You know what though? Like I'm, all, I'm also like okay with that play. I just feel like you just your movement is what your movement is what got them the elim, not your like play. Does that make sense? Like you had the right idea, but you just your movement was not as ideal there, so they able to get a free elim. And your team gets the dub, just like that. All right. Well, so let's talk about this very quickly. First of all, you said you don't think you should be in gold. You think you should be in silver. I, you know, it's hard to say because it feels like you were in a... And, and Chat might agree or disagree. And it could be a hot take. I, I feel like it felt like the lobby that was gold, everybody was kind of playing around that same level. So I feel like you're fine in gold. Am I wrong? Am I, am I, I feel like you're fine in gold because I don't, I don't think it's a situation here where everybody else was dominating you, right? If you're in the gold lobby there and you're seeing like, that was a pretty evenly matched game, right? So like, I don't, I don't look at that and go, oh no, like, I, if, if, if this is a gold lobby and this is a bunch of players in this game and it was a close game the way it was and you were able to get value at times, vice versa, you had some trade-offs, like, I don't know. I don't think you should be in silver. You're, you said you're gold four, so you're going to get, what, high silver lobby, low gold lobbies? Yeah, you're probably at the rank you probably should be. In my opinion. Doesn't mean you played perfect. Is there stuff you can work on? Of course, like your, like your pulse bombs. You don't have to throw 30-yard passes. Right? When you play May, make sure that you're using the value of what your hero brings to the table there, not playing Sniper May on, like, third-point defense when they have a whole half of a point to push. Things like that. On Tracer, work on your movement. Work on your cooldown usage. I, I think you'll be fine. You, know? you had some good moments. You had some moments that weren't as good, but you had some good moments, too. So, I think you'll be fine. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Sub to all three YouTubes if you haven't. A lot of awesome videos in there. Like I've been saying, the third channel is going to start having uh, ranked games on there, too. So, if you like watching gameplay and stuff... The third channel is going to start having that consistently starting um, around like the 12th of December. So get ready for that. Um, if you want to submit your own spectating, look in the description below. My Discord's right there. Uh, follow everything in the description you haven't, but if you want to submit spectating my Discord, uh, we record these live on stream. That's a Twitch chat right there. You can see them right there below the webcam. And with that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night. Perfect. Good to go. All all right, I have one more replay code chat, and I say we do that. One more replay code, because I'm just trying to catch up on these. So that way we have content on the YouTube channel. All right, we got a game. Got it. Plat Sigma. Sound good? Ooh, is this back-to-back -back Rio maps? Okay. Hey, what's their name? All right. Let me get to here. 
All right, we got a Sigma on this map. Ready. All right, chat, I'll be right back one quick second, and then we will uh, record the next video, okay? I'm just going to go to the bathroom, and then we'll record this one. All right? Hit the follow button if you haven't. I'll be your big. All right, I'm back, chat. Ugh. I am back. We are chilling. I got to check one thing here, too. Chat, what is a hero you think would you would want to see in a randomizer with Mauga's kit? Like a, like a hero that has Mauga's kit? Outside of, obviously, the weapons. You would have what? You'd have Overrun? You would have the heal and the damage reduction. And then you would have the ultimate. So, like, what hero would benefit from that? Mercy, Rhine, Zarya, Zen, Tracer? Oh, like, okay, so every hero? It's perfect. You got this. <laughs> We're going to put every hero in there. We're good to go. Tracer, really? Oh, damn. You mind the only thing they wouldn't have is the is the chain we weapons. I don't think that's possible. So, oh, I was just wondering, Chad. Thank you for the input. Thank you for the input. Uh, input. Um, actually, let me ask this to Alter in this chat too. If Alter's here. Um. All right, I'm just asking. All right, chat, you ready? It's time. I'm going to summarize this very quickly. We're going to watch a Plat Sigma. All right, so today's video, we're watching a Plat Sigma. Um, and apparently it was a very difficult game. Apparently the other tank was, was, was letting them know that they, they weren't playing Sigma that well. So we'll see how it goes. On top of that, they said they learned Sigma from me. Well, I hope that's a good thing. I guess we'll... <laughs> I hope that's a good thing. Let's, let's find out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. the orb already. I'm happy with that. Remember, they have a bastion, so try to save your cooldowns. That is a start. I, I, I would, I would not recommend falling off the high ground up there uh, at the beginning. You got to be careful of that. So keep in mind. And, and, and I do this sometimes, too. You'll see me do this even in top 500. All right? Maybe that's why that happened right there. Um, you being out of position for even a second can shift how the team fight goes for everybody to where your teammates have to use cooldowns. They shouldn't have to use right away. You know what I'm saying? That's certainly a rock throw. All right. That's the first point. That's the first point. So, that was not all right, let's keep at it. Here we go. The 
Watching? So far, I'm okay where you're at, but I want you to remember they have a Bastion. And I also, I was just going to say, your cooldown usage. Okay, so listen. You need to let your shield regen. And then Sigma was recently nerfed to where your shield takes even longer to regen. So you need to be careful with, like, trying to just throw your shield out there to do, like, two damage. Like, to take two damage. Because against that comp, you need your cooldowns. And so far, your cooldown usage hasn't been as good as it could be. Um, so remember that the comp they're playing is, like, don't just, like, get your shield broken and use your eat randomly. You're gonna use it to stop the burst damage, right? Like you wanna stop that burst damage that you're running into and it don't run into them in a straight line either because that's what's gonna happen. Like, think about this. When you use your Sigma shield and your EAT against their comp right now, you are using it as a way to prevent the burst damage, not to prevent the poke damage, okay? Now, Scar, thanks to get us up. Thank you, appreciate it, thank you. You get what I'm saying? Also, uh, one thing that I'm, I'm already noticing that you can improve on, and I, I, I learned this with Sigma and I do it sometimes, you're flicking your rock to the right. So, you see how you're, you're starting your, in the position you're at? So if you're going to flick your rock to the right like you just did, then you got to set up for that. If you're not going to do that, then just make sure you're, you're being pretty accurate with your rock to start, and then you're missing it when you flick it. Watch. You're going right with it. So, uh, Scar, thanks for getting something. I appreciate it. Thank you. At least so far. I mean, that one's stay to the left, so... Oh, here we go! Stay in there. That's fine. You're good. Get Brock. What's the difference between poke and burst damage? I think I have a hero that can perfectly describe this poke and... Okay, ready? See that Bastion right there in turret form? That, that, that is burst damage. You're taking so much damage at once if you don't do anything about it, right? The poke damage is when... Bastion is out of that form and can only just sit there and do the left click, so the damage output isn't going to be as much. So you don't have to sit there and waste all of your utility to prevent the, the, the Bastion out of turret. You get know what I'm saying? Um, so that's kind of like the difference of what you're seeing there. Now you apply that to each hero and start to understand which heroes have the burst damage and the poke damage. And that's where, like, I, I try to get... You know, I'm trying to, like, understand what heroes have that burst damage and have that poke damage. Like, right now, you'd want to use your shield. Perfect. The rock is good, too. Yep, rock. That's perfect, because you've stopped a lot of the burst damage. You see what I'm saying? But if you do all that initially, and they're not in turret form, and you just waste your cooldowns, miss your rock, use your eat, now they get ten times more value than they would normally because you're on signal. Yeah, Hanzo Storm Arrow is burst. I mean, like, I, I, it's hard to compare Hanzo's... Hanzo's whole kit is burst damage, kind of. You get what I'm saying? So, like, you're just gonna, like, you're just gonna get one shot by it. That's a little bit different. That's just, like, immediate damage. So what's your plan here? What do, you, what do you want to do? I don't mind this. I actually don't mind what you're doing here. So, one, one tip I want to give you here, um, and this is, this is a very niche one, but did you see when you're... Did you see when your Reaper was ulting right there? What is something that could have happened to that Reaper during that ultimate? Just out of curiosity. This is a general question. So, not necessarily died there, the Reaper. But what else could have happened? There we go. Jack on it. So, the Genji can deflect that damage, right? So what I would do in that situation is actually shield towards the Reaper. So that way, if they try to deflect, it's either going to get absorbed by the shield and won't do any damage to the Reaper, or and then the Genji will lose that value. You get know what I'm saying? So you, if you shield towards your Reaper during there, the Genji can't really deflect that, and they have either an option to deflect it and just get the shield, or they have to just get away and they get no value with what they're doing. If, if the Genji decides to engage the Reaper at that point. So, try to use your shield as, like, a 
a Zarya bubble sometimes to protect your teammates in that same sense. Without the, the you can use it as almost a Zarya bubble style. Also, you're playing too aggressive here. You need to back up and use your sight lines. I'm going to show you right now. I talk about it all the time. Look at your positioning. Why are you up here? See this? See this right here? Play here. Look how much better this is. What in the world is... Is everything okay? What? what a... Oh, okay. They got the Alim, but like it, their health bar is still there. So it was like the perfect... Just taking a nap? All right, have a good day. Uh, but look at the position. If you play back here, you have so much more sight lines and cover. You have crossfires for your team. If you play here, you're just feeding into them. So like work on your position in there. Play the sight lines. The sight lines. The sight lines. All right. Was there a Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Let's head on back right now. You should be fine, but I would have liked to see you do that sooner. I'm upset. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, never mind. Look what happens. By the way, all you had to do when you were going to lose that team fight was stand in the spawn stores. I don't even know what word I just said. The spawn doors. Use your interact key and get out of there. All right. So look what happened. Rather than sorry, I was I was typing. Rather than uh, take the spawn doors, and and like inter so basically, chat. Just to give you an idea, and this is something that most people know now, but I always remind people: your spawn was right here, right? Your spawn was right here. Okay. So if you just stood here and then and then like hit interact, it would have brought you all the way back here with your team. You spawn at the the newer spawn, and you're fine. So in, but instead, you get rolled, and this opens up the door for this team to snowball your team and get card space. So like that's why it's important you don't just go in there and feed when you're going to lose that to begin with. Uh, Primo, thanks for the six months of the free surprise. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, what's the play? You went low ground. You didn't. You didn't take the the right side. I would. I would recommend taking the right side initially to get the high ground and then engage them after. Um, but if this works, it works. So we'll see what happens. Nice job. Get rock. The rocks have gotten better, so you're not flicking them as much, which is good. Just go into there. You can ult this if you want to. I actually would recommend this, otherwise you're not gonna have a good ult because overtime spawns. Just ult this. Good on Diva. Diva's gonna get DMX. Shield up. Eat, 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 eat. Shield. Don't go too deep with the shield there, though. You threw your shield a little bit further than you should have. Use it, like, right in front of you, because remember, like, I want you to think about them having to run by you, and then also on top of that, you're gonna protect your team more with a little bit closer of a shield. And that was just a good tire, so. Uh, Chad, can we get some blankets, Jeff, for uh, Madam Bunny with the five gifted? Thank you, Madam Bunny. Appreciate it. This is the five gifted. Thanks for all the gifted subs. Hasn't popped up on the screen yet, but thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, and at that point, you're going to get rolled. Sorry, I'm just typing a candy there. Okay, at that point, you're going to get rolled. Like, there's... once one, one, Basically, once that tire hit all four of them, because it's overtime spawns, it's very rare you're going to be able to... Like, you're not going to be able to get back to the point. It's very rare you'll be able to get back there. So, 
once you lose the card at that position, you're, you're gonna... That's why, like, ideally, you back up a little bit when that soldier ults, and you take... Like, you need to... Think of each parts of the map as, like, a, like an area that, like, you want to control parts of the map, right? And if you're if you're not able to control, like, let's say that, that sight line where you were fighting them, back up to the next area, the next zone that you can hold and give time for your teammates to get back and force them to have to take off angles and, like, the other team is gonna have to, like, you know, get more cooldowns out. When you just run at them and, like, face tank that, you can get rolled when you do that. Especially on Sigma. You're about zoning the area out, not just face tanking in front. Uh, Reaper, thanks for 100 bits. Thank you. Alright. Got Brock. Nice rock. Be careful here now. Remember, when you have numbers, best thing you can do now is just get your cooldowns up, work with your team. They, they have a long way from spawn. Don't feed in. The best thing that would go for them is if you give them a free trade. Just be smart here. Okay, you're good now. Now go in. Use your eat. Get your teammates in. Kill the pylon top right. Kill the pylon top right. Let's get that pylon quickly. I need to get the Ayari. But I want to get in the habit of getting that pylon. Okay, your teammate got the pylon. You're good to go. Now get the diva. Good job. Use your shield in front of that. Well played. You're fine for now. Got Brock. Good job. Do I have any videos on crosshairs in DPS play? Like, do I? I mean, we have spectators in DPS on my YouTube for sure. Um, crosshairs, I always say is preference. Like, I, I, I try not to go too. I try not to go too deep in the discussion of things like crosshairs and even sensitivity sometimes because it's such a preference thing that like my controls are all scuffed and all over the place. And I, you know, it's something that works for me. So that's why I'm always like, what works for you? I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying play on. 92.69 sensitivity on 42,000 DPI. I'm not saying that, but like, I generally will, I'm on more of the side of like, sometimes it's like, you know what, like, what works for you is gonna work for you, and if it's not working, that's when you look at it and see improvements you can make with it, right? You know what I'm saying? Those ways and cooldowns, it will happen. Listen, I... I waste cooldowns, right, a lot. It happens. In every rank, cooldowns get wasted. It's just how much how much you minimize when you waste those cooldowns. And exactly, hitting buttons is fun. How do you know your sensitivity is not working? I mean, it depends. Like, you can watch a replay, or are your shots missing 6,000 feet to the left, or you're like, you know, when, when, when you... you when you like, oh, nice eat, by the way, good job. Like, like, or are you not able to keep up with the target? Like, are you trying to get on a target the whole time and the only way that you're able to get the LM is if they stand still? Or if they move even, like, to the left, you can't keep up with them. Maybe your sensitivity is too low. There's things that you can look at and make those adjustments if need be. That's also why I say it's going to be kind of based off of what's happening in your game and how you're feeling, right? Like, if you feel like it's not working, then you can evaluate and look at it. Um, also, I want you to focus on your shield there. You almost got rolled by that. Your shield would have blocked that. As I say, it was a good eat. What if you have a sensitivity that makes you do both? Um, that that's different. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. For example, I play in a hard pad, right? I play in a glass mouse pad. Keep in mind, when I talk about my mouse pads here, a lot of people are going to play more on cloth mouse pads, right? So, um, which is what you generally will see when you get a mouse pad is that more like cloth style mouse pad. I'm starting to see more hard pads now. I think I think people are starting to like them a little bit more, right? But it's all preference. So when I play in a cloth mouse pad, my aim gets a little bit different on the same sensitivity than it would be on a hard pad, right? So sometimes it could be the mouse pad. Sometimes it could be the mouse you have. Sometimes you could be your mouse pad is your desk and, you know, you have, like, scratches on the desk or, like, little, like, dents on the desk that your mouse hits and then it just gets scuffed. Like, there's different things. Like, this is what I mean where when it comes to, like, what you're playing with, like, et cetera, is going to be preference, right? It's going to be preference. So that's why I, when I go down this route of discussion about like your aim and like your, your sensitivity and all this, I go towards what works for you is going to be the best, right? Finding what works for you can take time, right? Does that make sense? So I'm not going to tell you go change your sensitivity to 20 right now is what I'm saying. Because I'm not going to get like that, that, that may not work for you. I play on 17 sensitivity, right? Um, 
you know, the what people call eDPI is fairly high, but it works for me. When I lower it, I don't play as well with it, right? Even though in theory, I'd be more accurate, but it works for me that I play on this higher sensitivity. But you would benefit playing on a lower sensitivity. You could benefit playing on a higher sensitivity. You could benefit playing in between that, right? So that's kind of why I'm always like, what's going to work for you is what's going to be best. How long it can take to get to that, you never know. I mean, there's going to be times you change your sensitivity and your DPI and your mouse and your mouse pad and your keyboard and your headset and your RGB gaming chair, etc. A ton. And then eventually, maybe you find something that works. Maybe your desk height is not ideal for you, right? There's so many different things. So, anyway. A little bit of a side note on that one. I, like, I haven't changed my sensitivity in a long time. Took me a bit, though. I, I, I've, changed, I've changed Overwatch sensitivities over the years. I found one I'm comfortable with, and now I play with it and stay consistent on it. I'm not saying my aim's perfect. I mean, you've seen me play Widow. I don't miss. My Venom minds it is. The shots are a different story. Uh, Rose Dust, thanks for the gift of stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good second point here. Good second point here. Keep it going. I mean, Sully has 100% hook accuracy on this setup. By the way, the, the Sigma doesn't go through the door here. I, I've tried I have tried that. The the, the, the the like Sigma doesn't automatically duck under that wall. Don't be afraid to lead in with the Sigma here, by the way. Keep this map control. If you see that Ayari, use that movement ability. Use it. Oh, uh, they, they didn't even... Okay, you're good. You're good. Good ult. I, by the way, excellent ult. Use your shield now. One thing that um, I, I don't see Sigmas do as much is... So many Sigmas that we watch try to just purely eat the ultimate, right? They only want to eat the ult. But what happens if the Ayari waits out your ultimate? Well, guess what? Your shield also blocks that ultimate. So let's say that the Ayari is up in the air and you can't block the ult with your eat because you're like the angle's off, throw your shield up. You can block it. I block so many Ayari ultimates just with my shield. I probably block more Ayari ultimates with my, with my Sigma shield than my actual eat because the eat, you, the, the eat is easier for them to predict because they see you going, Hello! How you doing up there? You see me holding my hands up over here? You see that giant circle? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's going to eat the ultimate, right? So the, the point I'm making is like the shield is actually one of the best ways to block that ultimate. You just got to time it. So doesn't mean don't try to eat the ultimate. It's just that you can use your shield to also stop the ultimate. Uh, 408, thanks for the tier one. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. But you want it to be on the kill feed? Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. That's fine. Good trade. Good rock. I mean, honestly, like, they got you, but I'm okay with that. You didn't have your E. <clears throat> ah, a revelation was within my reach. Something else I'll do is I'll throw my shield towards the Ayari, which then also forces them to have to go through your shield, and you can time your E better. Yep, rock. Uh, dummy thick, thanks to get this up. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. And 408, thanks to get this up. Appreciate it. No words on, um, my guess is if there's a Mauga nerf slash buff, will be next week. And Boba, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks, appreciate it. One thing I haven't seen you do too much of right now is taking that high ground. I know you're winning the team fight from here, but that high ground's important. Shield off, nice. Can't do anything about your sojourn there. Like you, you have to use that shield for yourself at that point. Otherwise, you both go down, and you definitely know what you want. Shield off the bob. Shield off the bob. Don't rock the bob. Shield off the bob. There you go. Nice. I would have liked to see you actually save your rock there. If you ever wonder why I rock bob, it's either later on when I need to rock the bob to prevent that if my shield's dead or my eats down, or stop the momentum of where Bob's going to prevent them from like. Somebody's trying to bob the cart, and I, I rock the bob early so they don't go to the cart. Stuff like that. Uh, but you need to do a little bit better job of, like, how you manage your cooldowns there. Otherwise, you won't have them. In my opinion, does Genji counter Ma Mauga? Genji's okay against Mauga because of being able to deflect. Counter? No. Deflect? Very good. By the way, you still haven't gone for high ground. I'm just going to keep reiterating that if you take top right, you're going to be you're gonna put yourself in a good spot. Yep, rock. Nice play. Good job. Go top right. 
Is the gifted sub sting still active for the um, Echo skin? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, um, it goes till the... Uh, like, 3 a.m. on the 12th of December. Like, like of, like, so basically Sunday night at, like, 11.59 PST. But, yeah, so. Today and tomorrow are basically the last full days of the, of the Echo skin. Top right, top. Look where your May is. Look where your team is. Take that. Listen, I, I, I know your teammates got two, but I want you to get in the habit of taking that, like, like what do you call it, pathing, like towards the, towards the high ground. Because if you default to that, you're gonna go there more frequently. You can always drop down right to where you're going. You're just gonna be in a better spot and an advantageous spot to help your teammates take a high ground or maintain it. Just get used to that on this map. In my opinion. What's this rank? This is plat. Not a bad attack. Not a bad attack. Score. Three to three. Alright. Right, let's keep it going. Make you have defense now? Let's see how you set up your defense here. You're on the low ground. I'm not a fan of this setup right here. I want you to go on that high ground. Get off this low ground. Even if you hold this here, I, I I would like to see you play a little bit further up. Above you, not further up where they're at. You give yourself no opportunity here. Like you give yourself no opportunity to basically retake this if you if you get rolled right where you're at. You're wasting your shield cooldown right now. We were talking about the Echo skins with supporter stream, the uh, Birds of Paradise one. Forget the dubs. Your shield, I, your, 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 your shield management, just don't. Okay, that's Zarya apparently, uh-oh. Be careful, be careful, be careful. It's bashing in turret form. You don't have your cooldowns for this. You should be fine now, you're good. Get you Brock. Oh no, I missed. Bronk? Jump! And hey, you said the other tank was saying you weren't playing well, and I will say, you ended up having a much better half here, and, and you played well against the other tank, too. The tank was playing well at times, too, but... I was gonna say, nice job, good hold, let's see if you can win this. You have a full minute. Let's find out. Or it will be a draw. We'll see. Ready for battle. Five, four, three, two... One. Let's find out. Actuating the barrier. Ha! Get Brock. Doesn't work as well against Hog now, but it's still okay to do. Good shield block. See, see how you use your your shield as like a Zarya bubble right there. Shield management. I, I, I. Think about your shield management just by a little bit, okay? Adam, thanks for the two gifts. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Shield management. You're, you're, you're not giving your shield time. No, no! That's gonna reset the regen time. Don't shield this yet. Just give it a sec. What the? It's gonna work, though. I guarantee it. Okay, it, it, I don't know if it did. Maybe it did, because the, the Reaper's in, like, on the... It's a draw. No, maybe not. Is it a draw? Wait, your echo's still there. I'll zoom out. You might win this, actually. Nope. It's a draw. Okay, so we need to talk about this because, like... We'll reset the, like... We'll reset, like, right here, okay? Uh, Santa, thanks for the two gifted. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anonymous, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Let's talk about this very quickly, by the way. All right. Oh, and, and uh, Bitter Sherry, thanks for the 18 months that tier one. Thank you. Let's talk about this. The one thing that you, like, you did right there was you just, you didn't let your shield ever regen. You just kept using it. Every time you hit that shield button again, it has to go back into the, into, like, the regen timer. And it takes a second. Like, be patient. You got to pick. Wait a second go in. If you just go in and feed, what just happened is what will happen. It's, it's okay to wait four seconds, okay? Think about this. You get in the limb, 
They're already in respawn mode. Not including when they run back from spawn. Best case scenario, they're back in 20 seconds. Probably going to be back in about 25 seconds. You can wait four seconds just to, just to, okay, we're good. Go in. And you win. But so many times, and, and keep in mind, this happens in bronze all the way up to top 500. And I will do this myself sometimes. And you'll hear me, I'll, I'll say it on stream, I'll be like, I, I just, I shouldn't have done that. I, I should have waited an extra second. Just, just wait that extra second. Be patient with your cooldown. Speaking of that, the number one thing I saw with you, outside of like when you were flicking your rocks, but that ended up getting better, your cooldown management and your positioning. Work on your cooldown management. Stop just like spamming them. Get better with that. And also your, your um, go for high ground. Go for positioning. Okay. Uh, Gapsy, thank you for the five gifted check. We get some blankets check for everybody with all the gifted subs. Thank you, Gapsy. I appreciate that. And I think you'll be in a good spot. If you like this video, make sure to the like button. Sub to all three YouTubes. They have a lot of awesome videos on there. Third channel is going to start having ranked games on there. If you want to start watching gameplay, it's going to be on there. So make sure to check that out. Um, if you want to submit your own spectator, look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where you can submit spectators. Uh, if, uh, follow everything in the description if you haven't. Also, we record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat right there. That's the Twitch chat you're seeing below the webcam. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night. Good to go. Three videos recorded, chat. Feels good. Feels good. Go for four? That's all we have for spectator right now. Someone, but keep in mind, someone will say, well, I, have, I put something on there. Keep in mind, a lot of the time, we look at multiple variations of what we're looking for in spectating. The story of the game will be entertaining for YouTube, are both very important. And sometimes, you know, somebody will submit a game and be like, hey, you know, this is a six-minute... Um, I have a six minute game for you on push. Don't watch the first two minutes. That ain't going to go up on YouTube. We ain't doing that. I, I'm not even going to record a YouTube short of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so point being is I, we expected any of the heroes, right? Like, all right. Uh, chat. What do we do? Uh, Kobe, thanks for the four months of the Features Prime stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm in, like, this spot. I'll let chat this. I, I don't know. I'm in a spot. Do I keep playing or do I take my half day today? Because, like, we, we, had a, we had a lot, lot, lot. I, I feel like I'm leaning toward a little bit of the half day so I can go get some things done that I need to get done. I need to go and... <sighs> I'm trying to think of things I need to do. Um, I need to go grab a couple things. Probably need to stop at the store to get my nephew what he wants for Christmas. One of my nephews. I have three nephews. So maybe I do that today? I said run some errands, take my weekly shower. Good call. I do got to do that, my weekly shower. Chat knows me, because, like, if I, if I commit to, like, going into ranked right now, if I commit to going into ranked right now, then it'll end up being a much longer stream, so maybe I just take the half day. I'm also, chat, I'll be real with you, I'm a little bit potato today. Not like potato, like, as in, like, uh, like, uh, it's more like I'm just, <laughs> honestly, I'm just a little bit sore from the, <laughs> from the, the, the beginning of the workout, so. At level 44, thanks for the tier one, thank you, appreciate it, thank you, appreciate it. How was the workout? It was good. I, I, I struggled a little bit towards the end with, like, the planks, but, like, that's because, like, by the end of it, my arms are just like, hello, sir. Maybe that's what we'll do. I'll take the half day today. I'll go get some things done. And then we'll, um, we'll hop back on, on, uh, Sunday. Or Monday. Maybe I'll stream in the morning because the Pats don't play, but I still want to watch some of the football games early. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not promising I stream tomorrow, okay? I'm not promising. But maybe there's a chance I, you know, I log on for a few hour half day stream tomorrow too. Does that sound good? How's that sound, to everybody? He has five lag is fixed. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. Chat, do me a favor. If you like the channel and you haven't hit that follow button yet, make sure to hit the follow button so you know to go live. Chat, seriously, thank you so much for the awesome streams. The streams have been absolutely unreal. Um, just. They've been unreal. It's been just from just, it's been just so awesome. Thank you so much, Chad. I really appreciate y'all. Um, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. I might do an early stream tomorrow. No promises and see how much I get done today. See how I feel tomorrow. I might, I might not. If not, we'll be back on Monday with long streams throughout the week. Sound good? Chat, will I see you?
Uh, thank you. Oh, and also, thank you for all the subs, all the bits. Seriously, streams have been unreal. Chat, will I see you tomorrow? Or Monday? Sorry, Monday. Will I see you Monday? Monday? The world keeps turning. Stars like ladders in the sky keep burning, burning. Heck yeah, chat. And 503, thanks for the future, Spider. Thank you, appreciate it. It's crazy Heck yeah, chat. Heck yeah, chat. That's what I can say. That's what I can say. I hope you all have an amazing day or night, wherever you're from. Have an awesome weekend. Appreciate y'all, and I will see you um, Monday. See you later. Peace.